There's a lovely old Jaguar Mark II that would make Inspector Morse rise from the grave, but I'm drawn to some beautiful old tins. Mate, how much are these? They're 25 each. 25, oh, OK, mate, all right. Uh, mate, I'll leave it, thank you so much. Cheers. Well, I wanted to pay about a tenner each, uh, but 20, 25 quid is right. That's a shame, though. I'm not going to hassle him because I won't get him down to the price I need. Uh, but lovely anyway. So nothing doing there, but a few doors down, we spot some hand-painted wooden signs guarded by a rather sleepy bulldog. Who paints those? Someone you know? Yeah, someone we meet them. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, they're great. So now these are painted on board, right? Yeah. To emulate original enamel signs. But they're done really nicely. Yeah. And actually, you know, we see they're not as valuable as enamel signs, but no, they're right. still very decorative, aren't they? How much is that? Good wolf, then. It's 20 quid. 20 quid? Yeah. Can I make you a derisory offer? Oh, Tenner. 15? <laughs> 15. Go on, son. Yeah. Nice. All right. No, you've hey. bought something. I have, mate. First item. Yeah, great. I think it's because the cash is burning a hole in my pocket. The busiest shed is this one, where they're holding the auction, and where, if the price is right, we might pick up a classic vehicle. Ten minutes, ten minutes. We've got enough. ten minutes of you to stock. There are 40 or so lots, ranging from 1970s classics to vintage tractors. It's previously been restored. I can see that. Yeah. Looks pretty mint. I love the seat, eh? Now look, right, 1,400, 1,600 quid. Under a grand, we're done, eh? Not me. Now then, Bond bug, or eight to ten grand. That just shows you that even a little bit of fiberglass with three wheels can command really good money. Hey, look, it's even got a tow hitch on it. Would you tow anything with a Bond bug? We won't be bidding on that. But then again, over here is something very interesting. Look. This is a Messerschmitt bubble car, a very different three-wheeler with its single wheel at the back. Just after the war, these miniature marvels were everywhere. The car designer, Alec Izagonis, hated them so much that he invented the Mini to drive them off the road. But today, they've got a real cult following. They called it a Messerschmitt because of the sort of glass top. I think the first ones, they actually used second-hand Messerschmitt canopy components. The thing is, these are properly, properly desirable. Yeah. And it says here in the auction, two to four grand. I think that's what they call in the trade a come-by-me price, isn't it? Uh, yeah, although, yeah. on inspection, it's got no floor. Let me ask you this, right? Yes. How long does it take to put a floor in? How many cups of tea do I have to drink? Uh, 25. That's not bad, mate. <laughs> it's not That's idiot. not bad at all. I have drunk up to 40. As for the rest, there's an ex-military Land Rover lightweight. Estimate here, look, four and a half to five and a half. Probably worth a punt at three. A Triumph 1300. Yeah. The bidding stalls yeah. at... 600 quid. We're having it and a Reliance Scimitar, which doesn't quite cut the mustard. Look at that for orange peel. That's <laughs> actually not orange peel, it's delamination of the fibreglass of the Is top it? coat, gel coat, yeah. I thought that was rust bubbling on underneath. No, no, these are plastic. It's, it's an upturned canoe. There you are. You see, yeah. that's what you need at an auction, someone who knows exactly what they're talking about, and that isn't me. And on that note, we'll take our pew for the big event. Every time I sit down before lot one, I'm excited. That's bad. I know, mate. You should never be excited at an auction. It's a bit like motor racing, you know? If you're excited, you're going to muck up. All right? Lot one. Here we go. Lot number one now, the 1956 Morris Minor two-door cylinder project. The first lot, a slightly knackered Morris Minor, makes its asking price 600 quid. Thank you, well done. There you yeah. Go, mate. A fair price. The Triumph also gets 600, but we keep our powder dry. Thank you. We nearly own. Saved by the uh, gavel, I think, really, yeah. before Sammy got carried away. The scimitar goes for three grand. 
It might not be ours, but it's nice to see it being appreciated. 3,000. OK, Land Rover Lightweight, not 15. Could be ours. Yeah. At 3,000 is bid, 3,002 online. At 3,004. What do you think? 3,006. Right, let's see how these guys go. 3,008 online at 3,008. Internet bid at 4,000, 4,002 on the internet. Are you? Uh, no, all right. My little red farm all goes for big bucks. 1,100, 1,200. No, 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 it's no that's it. And the Messerschmitt goes stratospheric. 7,000, 7,002, 9,000, 10,000. It's gone up to nearly 11,000. 11,000. It hasn't even got a floor. I sell it at £12,200 at £12,002. Well done. Congratulations. Well. Hey. But what about the bomb bug? Is there anyone crazy enough to go for that? £5,000 to start it. £5,000 is going at £5,000. Nah. I'm beginning to get the feeling that we're too cheap for this room. And then I catch auction fever. It's pretty mint. Should we give it a look? Your choice. Five thousand five hundred pounds I have bid now. Oh, what have you done? I think I've done something quite rash. It's a seat to bid there at five thousand five hundred pounds. I think I'm in trouble. You are, aren't you? Yeah. And the number, please. Well, he wants your number. Come here. Like a ninja there. 181. We'll see if we can get that turned. It's old Henry there for five thousand five hundred pounds. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> just bought Kermit's cheese. Should we call it Kermit's cheese at this point? What did you do that for? Why did you do that? Look what you've done. No, you bought the green wedge. This could drive a wedge between us. No, it couldn't. So we out now. Are we? Yeah, we don't have tea. Yeah, yeah. After the bomb bugs burnt a five and a half grand hole in my bank balance, plus 700 quid in commission, a cup of scorch is just what I need. So we're just celebrating our acquisitions. Are you going to toast the bomb bug or not? Shall I toast it? I'll set fire to it, maybe. Don't be like that. So we've got our impact piece, but it's taken most of our money, so the rest of the day is more about looking than buying. Sam makes another personal purchase and we both fall in love with a stash of cigarette cards. 20 quid? 25. I'm telling you, yeah, 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 great, yeah. yeah. Then it's time for a final tally up. I never thought I would leave here with a green bond bug, a load of cigarette cards and a painted sign. Empty your pockets and also a car mascot, which is your personal Lot Rather nice book. And a vintage car book. Mm. Hey, look, should we get back to the shed and really work out what we've actually done today, which could be concerning? Don't look at me like that. Did the wristband influence your purchase subliminally? May have done. I don't quite know what I've done, mate. No. Hey, we'll get this picked up. Come on. Next up, we give the bomb bug a jet wash. Oh, man! It's just another shade of green. And then, take it for a spin. The 70s were a great era, in my view. Junk in this soul.